Hey friends, it's Mary Pendleton here, and today we're talking about Instagram content that converts. Okay, so Instagram content that converts. Mary, what are you even talking about? Well, I wanted to hop on today and give you guys some pointers about Instagram mindset. Okay, what kind of content actually gets through to your audience's mind and helps them understand why they would benefit from your product or service? So basically, you know, I was working with an interior designer the other day and we were talking about how when people purchase her services, they aren't necessarily purchasing, um, you know, the ba- what they're getting. So they're not just buying the services of her designs. What they're purchasing is the experience of working with her, right? Another example is um, photography, right? You can get f- pictures taken by many different people that all provide somewhat of a similar service. But the thing that sets them all apart is what kind of experience they're giving their customers. So you want to try to um, express this in your Instagram feed, right? So try and tell people what the you experience is like. Show people what it's like walking through the steps of working with you. Show them so much of your personality. Show them what they're gonna feel like when they purchase your products or services. This is something that I really try to do on my Instagram. Um, Show people who, what I'm like, you know, what the steps are of working with me, right? So what onboarding looks like, um, some samples of work that I've done, what my process looks like, how I check in with my clients at the end of every month and give them a report, um, what that experience works like working with, looks like working with me, because that's what people are going to remember afterwards. And that's why people are going to continue working with me because they feel good and confident in my knowledge. And, um, you know, is, what's that quote like, people won't remember what you say, but they'll remember how you made them feel? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so don't sell your product, sell the you experience, sell the Mary experience. Um, so when you're talking about what the, your experience looks like then, you're going to want to talk less about the features of your products and services and more about the benefits of your products and services. So sometimes I could say, hey, I sell social media management. It includes seven posts a week, 20 minutes of engagement a day, blah, blah, blah. But more of what I should be saying is this is what you're going to get. You're going to get an increase in eyeballs on your product. You're going to get more time to work on your own business because I'm taking care of X, Y, and Z. I'm talking about how they are benefiting from hiring me rather than the nitty gritty details of the um, features of the things that they're getting, right? So um, for a photographer, You could talk about what your packages look like, but you want to talk more about how your client is going to feel in the moment of taking the pictures. Everything from the moment they check out of your, you know, of the, um, pay (laughs) all the way up until they, the moment they receive their pictures. Talk about the way it makes them feel, the way it makes their family feel, looking back on the pictures in 20 years, what it's going to mean to them. Those are really things that you can express in your social media account that is going to get to the heart of your ideal customer. Okay, and my third point today. Um, so what does this actually look like graphically on your account? So I always like to explain it as having more of a magazine feel and less of a catalog feel. So if you're a hairstylist, for example, having pictures of hair image after image after image gets really boring and stale. Having a, if you are someone that sells clothes and you're just posting pictures of clothes, if you use it like a lookbook, that gets pretty boring too. That's the catalog feeling I'm talking about that is not what social media is all about. You want to have it more like a magazine. So you have editorial pieces, you're telling stories that involve topics around what you sell, right? Related topics, other things that your ideal customer is interested in. Paint the picture more like a magazine, less like a catalog. So, um, 
lifestyle. So like, let's talk about hair again, for example. So instead of having just images of haircuts that you've done, which is really the feature, uh, the features, right? We want to talk about the benefits. So talk about the lifestyle that you promote. Talk about how you take care of your customers when they come into your salon. Talk about um, the products that you use and why it's important to not have, um, you know, XYZ ingredients in your products or why you chose those products for your salon. You could talk about the coffee, tea, and beer and wine that you serve your customers when they come in. You can feature different stylists and talk about what they um, specialize in and, and some personal details about them. You could talk about the neighborhood and how the ambiance of your salon is so rejuvenating for people that come into it. So I actually just got my hair done the other day and I was telling my hairstylist, which is what actually spurred this whole <laughs> video, is that I was like, you know what? Lots of people could cut my hair the way you cut my hair. I love it, but you're not the only one that could do it. But the reason I keep coming back to you is because I get the, her name is Severine. I was like, I get the Severine experience. I love talking to you. You're such an interesting person. You remember details about me. So it's like coming back to an old friend. I love the ambience of the salon I go to. They offer me beer and wine, which I think is amazing. Um, sometimes when I went, I just got coffee, but whatever. Um, I always feel special going in there. The experience is what keeps me bringing back. And so that's what they should really be um, promoting on their Instagram feed, right? It makes sense when it's about other people, but um, think about how you can apply this to your business. If you have any questions, you know, you can always uh, follow me on Instagram. Send me a DM on Instagram. My username is love Mary Pendleton. That's where I hang out all day, every day. So follow me over on Instagram. Um, see what I'm talking about. And if you have any questions, hit me up over there. Okay. Thanks guys. Bye.